I'm not going to say that. It's, it's okay. <laughs> you have seen me do this. I'll do it again for those of you who missed it. You've seen me do this. But you have yet to see me do this. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, the force applied is up, right? The displacement is up. The angle between up and up is zero, cosine of zero, one. So I do positive work as I lift the book. Notice in both cases that because I'm moving at a constant velocity that actually the force applied will be of the same magnitude, the displacement will be of the same magnitude, the angle is the same. Therefore, in both of those instance, instances, the amount of work I do on the book is exactly the same. However, Chattis, there was a difference. What was it? The speed that I do it at or and or how long it takes. So there's clearly a difference, but notice the difference doesn't come down to the amount of work that is done, but rather the rate at which that work is done, which is called power. So power is the rate at which the work is done. Power, the rate at which work is done. Power equals work divided by time. Adam, the equation for work is? Uh, the force times the displacement, the cosine of theta. OK, so then it, it is work is FD cosine theta divided by the time for which is going to give us the power. We can isolate the displacement and the time. So we have force times the displacement over time times the cosine of theta. What is displacement over time called? Maybe that. Well, actually, that would be that would be distance over time. What is displacement uh, over velocity. time? Velocity. So notice this is the velocity. In other words, we actually have two different equations for power. Power is equal to work divided by time. It's also equal to force times velocity times the cosine of theta. That is another box equation. Power equals work divided by time. It's also equal to force times velocity times the cosine of theta. Please notice when you're going to use this equation, if you're going to use the one with force times velocity times the cosine of theta, you need to have a constant velocity. F P cosine theta. So notice this uh, works just like your work equation in that for F D cosine theta, where that, that is the angle between the force and the displacement, in F V cosine theta, it's the angle between the force and the velocity. What are the dimensions for power? Uh, what? Uh, let's try this. What are the dimensions for work, Stuart? Joules. Divided by the dimensions for time? Seconds. seconds. A joule per second is called a watt. So joules per second is watts. This is the only thing we had to have to add to our table of friends today. So if you could please get out your table of friends and add power to your table of friends. Power. The symbol is a capital P. The dimensions are joules per second. Those are watts. So it's watts and joules per second. And then the equation is the one I just listed on the board. Power equals work over time. It's also equal to force times velocity times the cosine of theta. That would be dimensions in um, SI dimensions. Julie? Um, is the symbol for watts just you know what, I try to actually avoid the symbol for watts as W because it often gets confused with work. So I usually will write out watts. Uh, sometimes you'll see me write KW for kilowatts. Uh, when it's obvious, sometimes I'll write just a W, but I try to make it more clear by using W-A-T-T-S. In SI dimensions, it's clearly watts, but we English, we have different dimensions. So we need to also be able to convert back and forth. 746 watts is equal to one horsepower. That's right, 
746 watts equals one horsepower. I'm sure back in the day, they got a bunch of horses together and they kind of took an average and figured out what the average horse was, worked out to be 746 watts. Gotta love English dimension. Bless you. Please notice that is boxed. There's no reason for you to memorize that. You will get that on a quiz or final.